So you can see I have on the left two rows with numbers and two rows with text. So this cell formula will return a zero for the text and it will perform a calculation because the cell formula will identify that these cells contain numbers. So let's type in the first formula. So I'm not going to bore you watching me type, so I'm just going to copy the formula from Notepad and I'll explain this to you. So we're using the cell formula which is this bit here and we begin by typing equals if using the uh, open parentheses using the cell formula open another parentheses and then we type in the word type this is the type reference the info type reference so this is um, to identify what type um, of information you're looking for within your cell so if you were looking for perhaps values or a string so um, you were looking for a type in cell b3 which is this one here with the number four in it we close our first set of parentheses then we type equals and then within some quotation marks we type v now v is when you're looking for a value if you are searching for a string it would use the acronym I or the letter I should say um, so if it is a number then we are to perform a calculation of the cell and multiplying it by 2 so if the type is V which is a number then perform the calculation if it is not a number, so it is not a V, a value, then it will return a zero. Then we close parentheses. So I'm just going to press enter or return on my keyboard. Now you can see it has performed that calculation. It has multiplied cell B3 by a value of two. So I'm going to use the autofill function to populate these other cells and you'll see that will return a zero for the rows which contain Homer and Marge. So if I just use the autofill function to complete those other cells so you can see we have the calculation performed in row 5 which contains a value in cell B5 so to perform that calculation so 8 times 2 is 16 and in the cells which contain text it has returned a zero because that cell cell b4 and cell b6 do not contain a value or a number okay everybody the cell formula is uh, capable of more and i may do another video of this in the future it's just a quick intro to the cell formula for you okay guys thank you for watching Use my box. Do hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you again on another video soon. Bye bye.